All right, I thought I'd start recording here because the general idea that I want to sort of get very clear is if you're not using FL Cloud, you absolutely should be. Now, my FL Cloud subscription, I got the free month trial, actually expired today. But throughout the last month, I've just been going through downloading a whole bunch of samples. And of course, even though my thing is now expired, I could still go and use those. And I was just going through everything I downloaded over the last month. And immediately, I had a really cool song idea out of the first sample I listened to. So we're going to see if we could ideally put something together here that's really cool, and I'll of course demo some of the samples we got. And of course, we'll just go ahead and see what we come up with here. So as I'm sure you've seen from previous videos of mine, unfortunately FL Cloud doesn't actually show up on the window capture for FL, which is really annoying. But here's a picture of what this does look like right now. This very first sample, if we listen to it. You know, I heard that, and I was like, okay. I can make a cool house song out of that. And I think we're going to go ahead and try to get started here, see if we could pull that off. So we're just going to drag that in. And of course, it does have a feature to auto stretch to whatever the BPM is. This one's going from 130 to just 128, so it's not much of a stretch. But you can see that's already aligned perfectly. Didn't even have to do anything. It's really useful because it's basically spliced just right in your DAW. You don't need to run anything else. But we have this going here. And like in theory, Say I turn this to like, I don't know, like almost 180, like drum and bass speed kind of, a little faster. See how it's just stretched it for me automatically. I don't have to do a thing. That's super useful. I love that. And of course you can go and change the stretching algorithms. That one's arguably worse, but you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want to use. That one's pretty cool. So this is just how the sample sounds right out of FL Cloud. But of course, we could go ahead and do whatever we want to it. This is a guitar. I'm thinking I'm going to run it through a guitar amp. So I have like a guitar rig or something because I want it to sound a little bit different. So we could go ahead and open that here. Not the right tone, but we could find another one. There's another one I really like. Actually, not sold on it. This is a um, really important process. Just, of course, go through this. Find whatever sounds you think are the best. This might actually be good with more of like an... See if there's anything 80s. I think this is actually the tone. Exactly what I was looking for. It's just the name I was searching wasn't in the title. Just some very cool like chorusing like that. Yeah, I think this could be an improvement. We do need to process that a bit because it's very out of control right now. For guitar tones like this, I like to throw Soothe on there. Get rid of any of those like sh uh, harsh resonances. Yeah, that could all go. Maybe compress this heavily so it's not jumpy anymore. Something like this. I think this is going to be very heavily sidechained, like completely disappearing for a good amount of time whenever a kick hits, which is going to be four on the floor rhythm. So just get our sidechain triggers in place, and we're going to search any of the sounds I've downloaded on FL Cloud for a kick. Let's see what we got here. That one's really good. Right, so we dragged in our kick. This might actually be a little too aggressive. Yeah, I think it is a little bit. Let's keep looking. That one knocks. Yep, that's what we're gonna use. That's sick. So it's not sidechained yet, but it will be. I'm gonna go into that and clean up some of that extra rumble that we don't need. It does kind of go on a little too long. Do something like this. Yeah, and now we're gonna get the sidechained. I'm gonna try to do this video a little faster paced. I mean, I do like doing the longer, like super in-depth production things, but I think this one, you know, I could, I could trim a little bit more and try to get results a little faster. It might be fun for this kind of video, so we'll see. Get sidechain done now, which will get us started pretty quickly on what we're trying to achieve here. We do multiband low and high. You see, that's nice and long sidechain, which is kind of what I want for this one. So we can keep this just a kick for now. Obviously, I'll add in more stuff later, but one of the things I'd like to work on now is bass for this. Right now, we don't really have anything. It's just coming from that guitar sample. We're going to look for 808s that we've downloaded on here. So while I was going through, I just happened to find this hat. We're just going to drag that in there for later. But I will be honest, it looks like I only grabbed one 808, and it's not something I want to use for this. So I am actually going to pull from my other samples for the bass, and that's okay. You know, this is something that goes with your samples, not like to replace them. So we'll grab something and try to write a bass line. Let's see what we get. I think something like this will be really cool. Hmm. 
yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Ignore that hat that I've not edited yet. That was horrible. Um, this, but with a couple of slides. So, like, sliding up to say that note. Might sound really nice. Yeah. Right, so now, you know, this hat's very obnoxious, but we're gonna fix that up and get, like, a cool little drum progression going to extend this idea a bit. We need a clap. Let's see what we got from our samples here. That's not what I'd go for in this track, but I feel like it might work anyway. Oh yeah, that could absolutely work. Like, not in its current form. We need to do some editing to that. But I feel like that's a nice sample. Kind of want to get rid of a lot of the highs from it. Maybe have like a pre-shift for some of them. Something like that. It's like very atypical, but it sort of works in its own very strange way. Do one of these to it too. Like reverse it and have it go into it there. Yeah, that knocks now. I like that a lot. That's very cool. Now I'm thinking about some like one shots just to kind of build some melody in the background. I have this sax one shot in here that's like very in your face, but I'm thinking if I drown it in reverb and throw it like really far in the background, might be a cool addition to this track here. We'll see. This is sort of my idea here. Very in the background, but then cut this a lot. Just give it texture and put like delay on it too. Kind of like this, that's a nice idea. Then, you know, for variation, we could take that patch we made, which right here, put it knocked down. Have that go while this plays again, then we could add something new. At this stage, we could come up with, I don't know, maybe like a synth solo or something. I'm going to make that myself, though, rather than pull it from cloud. But we'll see what we do, like, sound design-wise. I'm going to plug in my keyboard quick. Here we go. So we got this plugged in. I'm thinking something cool and square, maybe... That like phases with the saw. You get like a cool result like that sometimes if you do a uh, FM. I'm all over sounds like this right now specifically. It's interesting. But obviously that like drowned in reverb, so it actually sounds good. And side chain with everything. All right, so we did some sound design. Now we're just gonna try to riff, I guess. See if we come up with anything interesting. I don't know, that's a little fast, but that's a cool melody. Maybe try that up high. <laughs> right, once we have something I think we're gonna run with, you know, turn on metronome and just record it in. Like so. I don't know, something like that. Pretty cool. Obviously now we have to go and quantize it, which we'll do now. See, it'll have some mistakes like that that we gotta correct. Honestly, pretty cool idea. I'm well into that. We have a nice little synth solo now that could come into this like at a later point. So, say we did one of these. Didn't mean to move it like that, but that's a nice little introduction here. the low octave and I know like structurally this this isn't making sense with where I'm putting things it's just I'm experimenting with different sections like for the video but I'd go and organize that later right so that kind of shows the like ability of FL Cloud you see I started with just this one sample this guitar thing and you know once you have like a song starter down it's really easy to come up with other ideas that you otherwise like wouldn't because like say this bass and this lead and everything else there like I wouldn't have come up with that without having that guitar there so it's really interesting to think about let me know what you think of FL Cloud so far though I'm really liking it I'm probably gonna want to get another uh, subscription soon because like I said mine expired today and they're still adding stuff all the time which is exciting but drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it let me know what you think of this track. Well into like the kind of synth solo thing adding over top this here. Could be a cool idea to experiment with. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.